Welcome to the Grok Shop, everybody. This is Grok Man here. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about how to remotely power on and off your Kodi system uh, using an IR USB dongle and remote control. Of course, there's ways to do this with um, IP remote controls, and those are fine and good. But in a lot of cases, you want to be able to have it integrated with your TV and AV system remote. And if you do, this is how you get that done. Once you get connected to your Kodi box, you want to make your way over to the .kodi folder and then uh, user data and um, key maps. And then basically in this folder, you can add as many key map files as you want. Um, there's an order of operations, but I added one here called remote.xml. And here's how I did it. I assigned uh, F12, control F12, um, key mod to xbmc.suspend. And that function will suspend your system and make it easy for you to um, wake it back up. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, you can see my other file here, which has um, very little in it, some no ops to keep the volume from affecting the Kodi system volume. And so then, of course, you just need to program the control F12 or whatever, whatever other key uh, combination you use using your um, FLIRC programming tool. So that pretty much covers the power down portion. So to get the power on portion to work, really what we're doing is resuming. Um, so you need to be in the suspended state and we're resuming from a USB device. Um, I'm going to follow this procedure posted by Nicholas Barnarts. Thanks, Nicholas. Uh, sorry if I didn't get the name quite right. Um, but it's a pretty, pretty well written procedure and easy to follow. And of course, as always, I'll make the link available in the description below. So be aware there is a way to do this manually. Um, this is more than just a how-to write-up by Bernard. He's offering up some scripts to use and they're pretty simple scripts, but they do simplify the process. So he's got a few dependencies listed here. Two of them are already included by default in Ubuntu. Just Zenity needs to be installed, so we're doing that here. So it looks like my Zenity is already the latest. Uh, note that I'm doing everything as root, which you can do, or of course you can do everything with sudo. Next up, he has us update the PCI and USB vendor and products database. Now we'll go ahead and create the script files and give them execute permissions. He seems to like gedit, I like vim. Just pick your editor of choice. Double check, make sure when you copy and paste, you got no blank lines or garbage characters or what have you, especially if you're cut and pasting across the operating systems like I am here.
Okay, so now we can run the select resume devices script, which does need to be run with sudo or as root. And when you run it, you should get a little pop up like this. And this is where you select the device you want to allow to wake the computer up from suspend mode. Now, if you have a FLIRC like I do, it might not say FLIRC. Um, I had to figure out that Clay Logic is the correct one for me. Um, so that's the one I'm going to check. Now that may change depending on their ROM updates or whatnot, but if you do have FLIRC, be aware of that. Just make sure you check the right one for your setup. Okay, now you should get this USB resume enabled info bubble pop up here. Not sure why it fades when I put the mouse over it, but um, anyway. Okay, so now he shows us where we can cat the wake up enabled UDEV rules file and see that the uh, tick that we made did in fact um, have some effect. So we'll do that here now. So now we need to reboot or reseat the USB device. Um, I chose the latter. I unplugged and replugged the uh, FLIRC dongle. Okay, so once we've done that, we can check the syslogger to see that um, the device is fully um, operational and uh, ready to handle a resumption event. So I'll go ahead and suspend it and run a test and I can confirm that it does work. So that's how it's done. I hope this helps some people out. I know this was a sticking point for me when I was trying to do my ultimate Kodi box configuration. Uh, I will have some more Kodi videos in the future. So stay tuned for those and thanks a lot for watching.